What is up, everyone? I'm Ryan from Fireside Yankees, and in today's video, we have kind of some breaking news. Jeff Passan just reported that the New York Yankees have reached an agreement on a contract with Franchi Cordero. Now, if you guys aren't aware who Franchi Cordero is, he was formerly with the Boston Red Sox from 2021 to 2022. He was a part of the Andrew Benintendi trade when the uh, Red Sox sent Benintendi to the Kansas City Royals. He's bounced around with the Royals, with the Padres, with the Red Sox, and he spent time with the Baltimore Orioles in spring training, where he had a very impressive spring training. Now, in 46 at-bats, he had a 413 average, 426 OBP, and a 674 slugging percentage. He struck out 11 times in his 47 plate appearances, and while, again, this is a guy who's going to run up a lot of strikeouts, he's also going to hit the ball very, very hard he is an exit velocity king um you know last year he maxed out at one 117.9 miles an hour the year prior it was 118.6 but the issue for cordero has been finding consistent offense at the major league level we've seen some seasons where he's been absolutely unplayable in 2021 in 136 plate appearances with the boston red sox he had a 31 wrc plus in 2018 he had a 104 wrc plus 154 plate appearances and it is most recent season and his largest sample size as a major leaguer he had a 92 wrc plus now he had a 92 wrc plus with a 2.6 bsr which gave him actually an, a positive offensive value on fan graphs and allowed him to be not a negative on the offense side of the ball but the main issue here was his defense at first base the boston red sox tried to make him a first baseman he cannot play the position very well perhaps an, an added year of uh, familiarity there could allow him to play a little bit better there but he's more of a corner outfielder that can occasionally play some center field. Um, he has the speed and athleticism to certainly, you know, perform well in the outfield, but he just hasn't put it all together. Um, uh, personally, I don't think you're going to look at him as a plus defender of any sort, uh, but perhaps in right field in Yankee Stadium where you can kind of just coast on, you know, the ability to get to baseballs uh, easily because there's not as a lot of range that needs to be had to get to baseballs there. He could go out and excel or at least be playable. He could perhaps play some left field in Yankee Yankee Stadium, maybe a, a spot start in center field if need be. Um, but the big thing for Franchi Cordero is his raw power. He's been in the 99th percentile in exit velocities, and that's definitely going to entice the Yankees. The Yankees are a team that loves home runs. They're a team that have placed a lot of emphasis on them. And while Cordero's never exceeded eight home runs in, in a single season, the Yankees feel like they could potentially get more out of him than the Red Sox did, right? At end of the day, the Boston Red Sox were a team that weren't going to be able to fit Franchi Cordero, you know, um, you know, he's someone again that just hadn't panned out and they're a team that is adding a lot of raw talent a lot of their younger talent um and added guys externally like Masataka Yoshida and so he was expendable he had a really good spring with the Baltimore Orioles they didn't choose to roster him surprisingly and the Yankees picked him up now what does that mean for Esteban Florial who was supposed to make the roster um I don't know Jeff Passan reports that Jimmy uh not Jimmy Cordero Franchi Cordero is expected to make the major league team um I, I anticipate that there's a move coming right the Yankees Yankees do not have uh, an eighth reliever. Floreal is out of options. I imagine they're trying to negotiate something to perhaps get a deal done with Esteban Floreal and send him somewhere and get a reliever back. Um, they optioned down Matt Crook, Davey Garcia. They've optioned down Greg Weiser, Ian Hamilton. Uh, they sent down all of their potential relievers for that final spot. Um, so it, it's telling me that that final reliever is coming externally. Uh, Esteban Floreal doesn't have really much of a role on this team if for Franchi Cordero is here. Um, perhaps this is a move that allows IKF to get traded. Who knows? Um, but, you know, when you're looking at Franchi Cordero, you're buying on upside here. The floor is not great, right? This is a heavy strikeout guy that creates a pretty low floor inherently that hurts your ability to hit for average. However, uh, you do have the upside of him tapping into his power a little bit. And really, what you're hoping for is to just get some home runs here. Even a 100 and one, or to 105 WRC plus would be a really strong outcome for the Yankees, right? Getting a bench bat who's above average offense offensively is a win for this team uh and you know if they can get that that'd be great you don't have much of financial of a financial commitment to um franchi cordero you don't have to roster him for too long if he doesn't play well but if you find lightning in a bottle here perhaps you end up going out there and finding that high upside bench bat that you've been looking for all all spring training um you know at end of the day i think that franchi cordero is a talented enough player to buy on you know and take a flyer on um do i think that he's gonna 
contribute a lot to the major league team? I don't know. Um, I would have to side with no because that's what his career trends say. Um, but I'm not going to put it past the New York Yankees to be able to get the most out of a position player that they sign like Cordero. Um, end of the day, I'd like to see what Cordero can give for this team. Uh, I'm really excited to see what he does. I'm excited to hear kind of what his role is going to be and hear a formal announcement from the Yankees themselves. Uh, but with that being said, thank you guys so much for checking us out. Let us know what you guys think about the Franchi Cordero news. I know this is kind of random and out of nowhere, uh, but we'd love to hear what you guys have to say about the Dominican outfielder. But before we depart, I'd like you guys to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on post notifications so you guys know when we post. We've got you guys with daily recaps. Uh, we've got you guys with post game uh, with uh, daily podcasts highlights, uh, prospect reports, and of course, any news going on with the New York Yankees. We'll make sure to talk about all of that. You guys can check out Empire Sports Media as your one-stop shop for New York sports content. You've got our articles there as well. And of course, you can follow me at Ryan Garcia on Twitter. And again, thank you guys so much for checking us out. Join the Fireside Yankees community, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.